Hi everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to Blackbird PC Tech and our Is It Worth It series. Our Is It Worth It series is focused on showing you just how much you can expect to increase the performance of your system with a drop in upgrade such as a CPU, GPU, SSD, RAM, etc. So one of the biggest challenges with upgrades is they can rapidly spiral out of control. You start with good intentions, do one upgrade, and then you think, well, I might as well do the next. And by the time you're done, you basically built an entirely new machine. This has happened to me way too many times to count. So in this series, we're going to limit the upgrades to one drop in upgrade. It just can only be one component. In today's video, we're going to look at upgrading the CPU from an AMD 5900X to an AMD 5800X3D, one of the better gaming CPUs that's out there today. Before we get started today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Falcon Northwest Talon you can see over my left shoulder here that this PC was originally built in. Before I got back into PC building, I ordered a number of pre-builds from some high-end places like Main Gear and Origin and Falcon Northwest. For this particular chassis, I had Falcon add some really cool Iron Man graphics you can see over my shoulder here. I always appreciated the build quality of Falcon Northwest, so after about six months of me having my machine, my wife's computer started to have a few issues. So I ordered her another Talon, um, this time with her company logo all over the machine. Since my primary PC was an AMD-based system, my plan was to order a state-of-the-art Intel-based system and then switch the graphics from the side panels onto the new machine and give my wife my existing AMD machine and put her logo panels on that. I thought it was the absolute perfect plan. I could get an upgrade or my wife would get a new machine with her logo on it. There was only one problem. Unbeknownst to me, Falcon had decided to modify their case, modify the dimensions of their chassis. They made it a little longer, they made it a little taller to accommodate a fan below the primary GPU slot to accommodate the bigger graphics cards that were coming out at the time to improve thermals. It all made a lot of sense from a thermal standpoint as to why Falcon would do this, but it absolutely screwed up my plan. Now my panels wouldn't fit on her chassis and her panels wouldn't fit on the old case, so I I was a little disappointed uh, when the new Talon arrived and I couldn't do that. As crazy as it might sound, this was actually the trigger for me getting back into building PCs. I was so annoyed when my wife's PC arrived that I couldn't switch over the panels that I decided I'm just going to build my own system. I'd been so looking forward to it that the disappointment was the trigger that actually said, hey, just do it yourself. I plan to talk about it a little bit more later in the video, but this really was the trigger that helped me get back into building my own PC. So the system being upgraded today is one of my personal systems, originally built by Falcon Northwest, as I mentioned. The main components are for the motherboard, it's an Asus X570 ROG Crosshair 8 Dark Hero. For the RAM, it's four sticks of G-Skill Trident Z Neo DDR4 3600. For the GPU, it's a Founders Edition NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti. For the CPU cooler, it's a custom Falcon Northwest 280mm AIO. And then for the PSU, it's a Seasonic Prime TX1000. As I mentioned, they currently have a 5900X in the system, which is one of the top prior gen CPUs. I routinely see the question of whether it's worth upgrading a chip like this, particularly to the X3D models, and in this case it would be a 5800X3D. In this video, we're going to find out if it makes sense. As usual, before I can do the upgrade though, I need to run some benchmarks to get a baseline of the original system so that I compare and see what the performance change has been once I upgrade the CPU. This time around, I added a new game to the um, benchmark suite, Far Cry 6. The reason that I added this particular game is that it has a built-in benchmark, and that's critically important because when you're comparing different runs, you want to be as consistent as possible. If you know of any other games that you recommend that I should add that have built-in benchmarks, please comment down below and I'll try to include those in future videos. So as mentioned, the upgrade being performed today is the CPU. It's a simple CPU swap from a 5900X to a 5800X3D. So let's get building.
So remember the story that I mentioned at the start of the video around why I started building PCs again? After building a few PCs, I realized I loved it so much that I decided to go all in. I quit my job and I decided to dedicate myself to building PCs and actually helping the broader community, which is why I started Blackbird PC Tech. So looking back, I really should thank Falcon for providing me the motivation to get back into the field that I really love. Sometimes it's the little things in life that make a huge difference. Upgrading the system today is special to me. I plan to actually keep this case for a long time to really remind me of that moment that helped to really change my life and put me on this path. So with the upgrade now complete, let's take a look at the benchmarks and see if it's worth it. In today's video, we saw just how easy it is to upgrade a CPU, but the question remains, was it worth it? Based on the performance benchmarks alone, I would say no if your focus is applications or 4K gaming, and yes if your focus is 1080p or 1440p gaming. If you already have a 5900X, then these results are simply not good enough to justify changing to a 5800X 3D. If your interest is applications, the extra cores of the 5900X really help but destroy the 5800X 3D. For games at 4K, there's no meaningful performance difference because the games are GPU bound. However, if your focus is however 1440p or 1080p gaming, then it really might make sense, especially if you routinely play games such as Microsoft Flight Simulator that benefit greatly from the increased L3 cache. If you have an older AM4 compatible CPU, the 5800X3D is an easy chip to recommend, as long as your motherboard BIOS supports it, of course, especially at current prices. If you don't game much, then stick to the higher end AMD chips. The extra cores help significantly in application performance. So as you can see, it's not rocket science, it's Lego. My goal is to help you make the right choices and put them together the right way every single time. Thank you for watching this video in the Is It Worth It upgrade series. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content. Please also comment and offer suggestions on any future topics that you'd like me to address. Bye for now.